Hello and welcome to my video. So today I am going to be redesigning my OC, Israfelia, who is from my comic that you might have seen on my channel. If not, I will link it in the description. Uh, but the reason I'm redesigning her is for a special project. So if you like my comic, then um, maybe, maybe you will like it too. So I will tell you more about it a bit later. Anyway, so the first thing I did was just sketch out Israfelia just to have like a, um, I guess like a reference image for like the proportions, like the body type. Like you wouldn't want the character to, to, to just swap heights or proportions every time you draw them. So that's why I decided to draw like a reference sheet for the um, body type as well. And also I'll be drawing the clothes on, on Israfeli as well. And you can see at some point I erased the legs uh, <laughs> and, and redrew them completely. I have a, I've realized that I haven't been drawing my, many legs <laughs> lately for like the past two years or something because I have finished my previous comic so I didn't need to do any kind of poses and I've been sketching in my ske small sketchbook where you can't really fit a whole person like you'd have to draw them really tiny so I would end up just drawing people like head to like uh, about thighs or waist um, and yeah so definitely need to practice that a bit more and then you probably saw that I was writing down the likes of Israfelia. Um, I really wanted to kind of have in front of me the type of the types of things that Israfelia would like because I felt like that would make designing clothes easier. So it's like liking in terms of clothes, That's something that could be relevant to clothes. Uh, because I didn't want to pick clothes that I would like to wear, I wanted to pick clothes that Israfelia would pick to wear. So. Yeah, Israfelia likes red, bats, the color black, uh, pleated skirts, and comfy and practical clothes. So those are the things I kept in mind while designing the character. So, like personally, red, I think it's okay, but it's not like my favorite color. But since I knew that Israfelia probably likes red, because I mean, I kind of figured that she, since she, in her original design, as you could have seen at the start, had a red skirt. So I just thought that maybe she just likes the color red. So I tried to include some red in the design. And you could see me drawing a little dress with leggings. Uh, so I decided to draw like a couple of different options for clothes. Um, just, just because usually people have multiple clothes and also like it, it, it is good to have a couple of options for the character as well, even if you only choose one in the end. And the second one was just a skirt with a shirt with a bat design on it. And I, I didn't want the clothes to look completely different to the original design, but I also wanted it to look like a something like not too 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 similar like I wanted the character to be still recognizable but also like they have a different different types of clothes now the character here is also I forgot to mention supposed to be about 20 years old but in the original comic they were 14 so you probably wouldn't be wearing the exact same clothes you wore when you're 14 you probably get some new ones as well so what I did with the design, as you could see, I just um, outlined it with a brush pen and then I decided to color the shirt red with some like grayish blackish stripes and the skirt black. Uh, so then it's kind of obvious that it's a different skirt to the one that she had before, which was red, but it's similar enough that it's something that she would like. I think also when you're designing characters, especially comic book characters, I think it's good to have like a nice recognizable design, but also something that isn't too complicated to draw over and over again. Like I wouldn't, whenever I draw characters which are 
like uh, just one-off characters for an illustration. Like I can make them look as fancy as I want. I can spend like an hour drawing their clothes and it's fine. It doesn't matter. But with a comic book character, you really don't want clothes to take you an hour to draw because otherwise you're gonna spend an hour drawing each panel. Um, I guess if you really want to, you can, but it's just, yeah, like if you don't want to spend ages, then it's better to have something a bit more simple. For the dress, um, it was looking a bit boring for me, so I decided to add like a little kind of like checkered, uh, like plaid pattern onto it in red because I thought that might make it look a bit more interesting. And then after I did the red pattern, I lightly sketched over the red with a black pencil, so you could still see the red through it, but then it looks a bit more like, like plaid. I had a lot of fun redesigning the character, because I think for the original design, it, I didn't really, I don't remember like actually making, like planning it out first, I think I just was like, yeah, this is something that this character would wear. So um, it didn't really have that much of a plan to it. And I don't think I plan things out as much as some other people do. I know some people make like huge reference sheets, but uh, I just kind of like, I guess even with these, I didn't really plan them out. I just came up with them, but it was pretty fun. And yeah, that's just the way I prefer doing that. With the shirt and the shorts you're seeing now, that's supposed to be like a swimsuit. So I don't know how it is in other countries, but in Australia it's very common to wear sh like a shirt, like a swimsuit material shirt for, for swimming, even like over your like a bikini or one piece, because otherwise you'll you'll get sunburn and get skin cancer. And I thought that Australia kind of seems to like the t-shirt type. And, and she's pretty pale, so I think it would be a good idea to wear a shirt like that. And then also some shorts for swimming as well. And in the corner I decided to draw the original clothes as well, because even though she's like 20 now, I am 22 and I can still wear a lot of my clothes from when I was 14, and I still do wear them sometimes. So, like, I don't think Israel would be the type to completely like change over the wardrobe and never wear the clothes again. So I think she still kept them. Uh, maybe just wears different clothes as well now. I guess you could also like mix and match. So maybe maybe the black skirt with the gray shirt just mix and match because in real life you don't really uh, wear one skirt with only one shirt. You can kind of mix it up a little bit. So. One of the outfits, as you can see, is just the original Israfele outfit. The grey shirt with the red skirt and the black leggings. That is like the classical one that you, if you've seen my comic, even at the start of this video when I quickly showed the character, um, it was the outfit that she wore. Uh, the dress, I think maybe not everyone would remember because I think she's only worn it like two times in the comic. Um, it was a dress that a girl called Inna gave to her because it didn't fit her anymore because she was so tall, even though she was her age as well. But yeah, so now she can... It, it, it is like a pink pink dress and I think the reason she liked it was because it was also like sim a bit similar, like with a pleated skirt. But. She didn't wear it that much in the comic because she thought it was a bit too fancy for running around in the forest then. And then after I did that, I picked my favorite outfit of the new ones, uh, which was the bat shirt and the black skirt. And I decided to pair some leggings with it as well because uh, at least in my school, when I was in school, we had um, like a dress for school uniform. And I think most people would wear um, shorts underneath because if you're running around, which you know, if you're a kid, <laughs> you kind of want to run around. Um, you probably don't really want to flash anyone. So I think since this Rafale is like a pretty active person, like climbing trees, running around, uh, she probably would want to wear some leggings or shorts underneath as well. Maybe it's also like pretty comfy that way as well. And then I did a quick sketch of the shoes. I decided to keep the same type of shoes that Israfalia wore before, um, which were just like simple black ones. Uh, I assume that since 14 her feet would grow, because I know my feet did grow a tiny bit. I guess she would have gotten like a similar type. I just think that 
it is like a nice simple type of shoe. And I'm <laughs> not very good at drawing shoes as you can see, probably need to practice that a little bit more, but I think you can kind of tell that that's supposed to be shoes, so uh, whatever. <laughs> and then after I did that, I just outlined Israfelia with a fine liner. It was a bit of a different pen to the one I used, so instead of using a brush pen I decided to use a fine liner, because although the brush pen does look cool, you can't really get details with it, so um, I just went with a fine liner for Israfelia, even though it's still a bit of a rough sketch, but um, yeah, it was just much easier for me to use that. Uh, and actually Unipin fine liners were one of the first, I think it was actually the first fine liners that I've ever had when I started drawing at about 13 or 14, I think I got them about 14 years old, and I haven't really used that many other ones, but I really like them. I actually got uh, a duplicate packet because one of them started drying up, so yeah, I have two identical packets of fine liners because I like those ones. I think they're waterproof and um, they don't really smudge that much. So I, I think they're pretty cool. Also, if you're wondering why I used a red pencil for all of this, it's because if you line do the line art and then don't erase the pencil, it looks really bad, but with a red pencil it doesn't really matter as much because it doesn't kind of catch your eye as much. Um, so it's just a bit of a faster way and a bit of a la lazier way for me to do things. And it's just like a regular color pencil, it, there's nothing special about it. Um, and just use a pencil that you like if you want to do the same thing, but maybe like one that isn't too hard to erase because I know some pencils are a bit more like crayons and if you put them onto the paper you can't erase them at all. <laughs> Uh, I already have one more character redesign um, recorded, which I will have to edit and upload sometime, but let me know which character you would want me to do as well, and um, I might redesign them too. So I hope you like the new redesign, tell me which one of the new clothes is your favourite. So as always, I have my comic on my channel so I will link it and I will let you know what my special secret project is later. So anyway, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll hope I'll see you next time. Bye!